I have just returned from the Munich Security Conference, where every conversation I had came back to the situation in Israel and Gaza. And the question of what we can do practically to deliver what we all want to see, a return of all the hostages taken on October the 7th, an end to the killing of innocent Palestinians, a huge scaling up of humanitarian relief, and an end to the fighting. Not just for now. <laughs> an end to the fighting, not just now, not just for a pause, but permanently. A ceasefire that lasts, conference, that is what must happen now. The fighting must stop now. Our conference. Any ceasefire cannot be one-sided. It must stop all acts of violence on both sides. And it must lead to a genuine peace process. Because the offensive threatened on Rafa, a place where one and a half million people are now cramped together in unimaginable conditions, with nowhere else for them to go, this cannot become a new theatre of war. That offensive cannot happen. And even in these most terrible of circumstances, the two-state solution must be back on the table. A safe and secure Israel. Where the horror that Hamas inflicted on October the 7th, the largest loss of Jewish life since the Holocaust, could never happen again. And alongside that, a viable Palestinian state, a state which is not in the gift of any neighbour, but is an inalienable right of the Palestinian people and is recognised by this party and the world. <laughs>